Proofs and Refutations, The Logic of Mathematical Discovery, by Imre Lakatos is a seminal work that delves deep into the philosophy of mathematics, shedding light on the intricate and often nonlinear process of mathematical discovery. Lakatos challenges the traditional view of mathematics as a discipline characterized solely by the accumulation of proven theorems and instead presents it as a dynamic field in which conjectures, proofs, and refutations are intertwined in a continuous dialectical process. Central to Lakatos' thesis is the concept of the Euler case, an imaginary mathematical problem involving polyhedra that serves as a case study throughout the book. He employs this case to demonstrate how mathematical knowledge evolves through a cycle of conjectures, proofs, and refutations. This approach provides a rich foundation for understanding the dynamics of mathematical reasoning and the development of mathematical knowledge. Lakatos emphasizes that mathematical discovery is a far more complex and messy process than the traditional view suggests. He contends that mathematical ideas do not emerge in a linear fashion from axioms and definitions, but rather through the interplay of various elements, including informal concepts, analogies, and the imagination of mathematicians. This stance challenges the conventional notion that mathematics is purely deductive and deterministic. Furthermore, Lakatos introduces the concept of positive heuristics and negative heuristics. Positive heuristics refer to the strategies and principles that guide mathematicians in formulating conjectures and proofs. Negative heuristics, on the other hand, represent the protective belt of assumptions and definitions that mathematicians use to shield their theorems from immediate refutation. The interplay between these two types of heuristics is central to Lakato's analysis. The dialogues in the book, presented in the form of fictional exchanges between mathematicians, provide a vivid portrayal of how mathematical ideas evolve. These dialogues highlight the critical role of counterexamples in the development of mathematical knowledge. Lakatos argues that counterexamples are not mere anomalies but catalysts for the refinement and reformulation of conjectures and proofs. They force mathematicians to revise their theories, leading to deeper insights and more robust results. One of the key takeaways from Proofs and Refutations is the idea that mathematical knowledge is fallible and subject to revision. Lakatos contends that no mathematical theorem is immune to potential refutation, and even the most established results can be challenged. This view challenges the classical notion of mathematical certainty and underscores the need for critical scrutiny and openness to the evolution of mathematical ideas. Throughout the book, Lakatos engages with the works of prominent mathematicians such as Euler, Cauchy, and Poincaré, illustrating how their mathematical contributions were shaped by the dialectical process of conjecture and refutation. He argues that the history of mathematics is replete with examples of conjectures that were initially flawed but eventually led to breakthroughs when refined in response to counterexamples. Lakato's emphasis on the historical context of mathematical discovery also highlights the social and cultural factors that influence mathematical research. He argues that the acceptance or rejection of mathematical ideas is not solely based on their logical merits but is also influenced by the prevailing mathematical culture and the intellectual climate of the time. This perspective challenges the notion of a purely objective and universal mathematical truth. In conclusion, Proofs and Refutations, by Imre Lakatos offers a profound insight into the dynamic and evolving nature of mathematical knowledge. Lakatos' exploration of the Euler case and his analysis of mathematical discovery as a dialectical process challenge conventional views of mathematics as a purely deductive and deterministic discipline. The book underscores the fallibility of mathematical knowledge, the importance of counterexamples, 
and the role of historical and cultural factors in shaping mathematical research. Ultimately, it invites us to embrace the complexity and uncertainty inherent in the pursuit of mathematical truth, making it a must-read for anyone interested in the philosophy of mathematics.